What's going on, guys? We are talking about Webull futures paper trading. This is new. This is not something that has been released everywhere. And as of right now, I tried it on my iPad and I tried it on my desktop Webull app. It is not available yet. So this is currently a feature only for the Webull mobile app on your phone. I would imagine Apple and both Android devices should be good to go at this point but I am on an Apple device, so I'm not 100% sure about Android, but from my understanding, that is available now. They sent out a whole email, and so I believe everyone should be good to go, at least the mobile app. On the mobile app, if you click on the menu icon in the bottom right corner, you will see where we have the shortcuts. At the bottom right of the shortcuts, there is a little circle with three dots, and click on more. When you click on that, You'll have your history up at the top. So if you recently went to the paper trading icon or the paper trading feature, you can easily get to it that way. Or you can scroll down into, let's see, where is it? Uh, I always lose it. It is under the trading section. There is a paper trading little icon. You'll click on that. Now you'll have the option to swap between, this is where it looks different on your computer, on the app, on my iPad. You'll have the option to now swap between stocks and options and then futures on the other side. So that is what you want to click on. You want to click on futures and they give you a $1 million account, which I don't know how realistic that is to you. So set this account uh, value to a value that makes sense for you, maybe 10,000, maybe a hundred thousand dollars. So you don't have to worry about um, contract sizing and, and margin requirements and whatnot. So you'll have your order history right here. You'll have your margin ratio right there. You'll have your positions, open orders. It looks kind of similar to what you'd see on the stocks and options section. We're just looking at paper trading. Now to go ahead and make a trade, click on paper trade, and then you'll type in the symbol name. I have a video covering like the basics and how to execute orders and all that stuff. If you want to see how that's done. And in that video, we detail where you can find all the tradable assets and all the futures contracts you can trade. So for example, you like, you would kind of have like based off this, you would kind of have to know what you're looking for. So you have to know the symbols of what you're looking to trade. So I'm going to go and I'm going to look at silver. Silver's been pretty weak lately. So I'm going to go find the, let's see on silver. You can just type in, like if you wanted to find silver, you can start typing in silver and you'll, you'll get there. It'll highlight like the description of the contracts. You don't have to know like the digits and the letter symbol codes, because that can be kind of confusing. Although I think if you're gonna get into futures, it would be something that's worthwhile understanding the codes, what they mean and all that stuff. So for example, I'm gonna look at the silver. I wanna go back a second here. I found it a second ago. It popped up like two seconds ago. Um, the September or the August 24, there's the July. I'm gonna go to the July. Uh, Micro silver 24 contract right here. You can see the weekly chart. We have a daily chart as well. And then we got level two underneath as well. That should be moving. Yep, it is moving. So time and sales below that. You have volume analysis as well. So it's kind of like all the cool stuff you would get from your usual Webull platform, but just paper trading. So let's say I want to go ahead and paper trade this. Click on paper trade at the bottom. And now you have your usual order entry. At the top, you'll also see the PM. That stands for paper money, which is, means like you're on a paper trading account. I have the classic selected. There's also the turbo trader selected, which is like an easier way to fill. Uh, if you don't, if you just want to buy market, sell market, like you can go ahead that way. It's certainly a good idea. Um, if you're looking that way, to go that way, I'm going to go with like five contracts here and I'm going to sell market immediately. Blah, blah, blah. Read the disclaimer. Agree. Order request is out and I should be getting filled here momentarily. Boom. We have a negative five. That's our position. So we have got five contracts. My buying power has been adjusted down to $87,000. And now it's we're in the after hours right now. So I don't think things are moving very quickly. I mean, it's silver's out like tradable right now, but we're in the after, like the market just closed 24 minutes ago. So we shouldn't be moving aggressively in, a, in either direction, but you can kind of see how that works. That's using the turbo trader. If I wanted to jump back or get out of that, like if you're looking to market buy and market sell, good idea. Classics, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to set a limit buy for those five contracts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out what my current position is, and I'm going to essentially put a buy order just below that. So let's go ahead and let's back out of here and go to the main page, cancel, cancel. You'll now see our futures account. We are currently down $57 on our position. We're down 50 bucks roughly, plus commissions and fees. So you jump into here and I can go into my the contracts I currently have. It'll give me my filled 
records, fill price, all that stuff. I'm doing this live. So, I mean, you're seeing how long this is taking. Wait, cool, a little buggy there for a second, but we're back. So now I can go to this page, which is a very familiar page, I think, for a lot of us who trade on or who have used Weeble. So you'll see your current, like this is the silver position that I have. It tells me the, like, uh, the current contracts, all that stuff, and my current position of negative five. Now, uh, I have order history here. If I want to see order history, it'll tell you all your, all your order status times, and you can customize that as you have more order information there. But what I do want to also just do now is I want to go through a buy to close because I am net short. I'm negative five contracts, so I opened or I sold to open. So I'm going to buy to close. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to go and put this buy to close below where I currently am in. So my current price, my average price is 28.895. So I'm gonna go in here, click on buy to close. 28.85 I'll take, and I'll go with a day order. And actually, I guess I'll go to I'll go good till cancel, just so that I, if I forget about this, either it's gonna hit and that's it. Now at the bottom there is a transaction fee of 7.25. That is like no, you're not actually getting charged that. That's just coming out of your Rebull account more to simulate how this is gonna be when you go live. Click on that, and we are in. So now we're kind of just wait. We have an order just kind of sitting there. So if I were to go to these, these uh, go back to the this um, silver position, you know, we're not going to get filled until that order hits, until price hits that level. So we have an open order down there for a buy uh, at twenty eight eighty five. We currently are short at twenty eight ninety zero five. So we're looking for about a five cent move down, and we'll make some money if that's the case. Um, let me just go back into the position. So you're seeing how the position works or how we're in. We're down 50 bucks. The average, or sorry, my average price is 28.895. So I'm looking for like a four and a half cent move down approximately. Um, and we're currently up, it's up about one cent. So every one cent in this case on the micro silver contracts equates to $10. So one cent equates to $10. In this case, we are up one cent, I have five contracts, $50, we are down, I guess, right, uh, from my average price. So that's how it works. It's a great way just to kind of get your feet wet before you start trading. I would highly recommend if you are new to futures, this is awesome that we both got futures. I'm, I'm happy, I'm pumped for it, but get your feet wet somehow like this. I would, I would think it's a good way to go about it just because you don't have to worry. Now, let's say that I want to close out of this position. Let me just go back in here, go to my open orders. I'm going to cancel that order. Yes, I want to cancel. Request has been sent out. We're canceled. Boom, it's canceled. Now I'm going to jump back in. See, there's no open orders. I'm going to go in here. I'm now going to buy to close. And let's say I want to market buy just to get out right now. Five contracts. Boom, working, 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 and filled. And so now with the transaction fees, it tells you, you can break those down, by the way. The clearing fee is 90 cents, $5 exchange fee, regulatory fee, and a commission of 125. So that's how that gets broken down. And then I go back to my main page and you'll see that we are down, not that much. We, we lost $14 and 50 cents. So uh, just the fees, those two 725 fees, so. There you guys have it. That's how it works. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. We can dive deeper in them in the future. But highly recommend you use this platform or this feature on the app before you start trading futures live. It will prevent a lot of headaches and potentially a lot of issues that you'll run into and maybe save you a lot of money uh, on a live account if you do some of the you know, testing here. Thanks so much. I'll leave some links and resources down below like always. Peace.